Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and um, I have a water softener. I just got this thing free off Craigslist from someone that lived about five miles from my house. And what I want out of here is the tank. I'm not sure what's wrong with this water softener. Um, guy said it didn't work, so he was giving it away. And um, if you pop the lid off and you look in here there's a, a fiberglass tank and what the plan is is to take the fiberglass tank and use it for an air compressor tank I've been looking for a air compressor tank for uh, this little refrigerator compressor so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that little compressor motor and I'm gonna hook it up to this tank this tank should be pretty good size I don't know how much PSI it's rated for but I'm pretty sure it can hold at least 125 PSI easily it's uh, you know designed to hold city water pressure which I think is about I don't know I'm gonna guess 50 or 70 PSI somewhere in that range maybe even higher so I'm sure that tanks probably rated up to about 200 so I'm gonna try and yank the tank and uh, we'll see if we can't start roughing together this air compressor for my shed so as you can see I yanked the tank there's some pretty cool float switch assembly there and what's nice about this is it has um, pressure rating on the back um, maximum rated pressure 125 psi and hydrostatic maximum test pressure 300 psi so um, I think what I'll do is I'll run this air compressor at probably about maybe 80 psi that should be good I'm just using this thing for uh, blowing up flat tires and things like that out in the shed so uh, I think that should be fine and this tank is super heavy um, it says it's 8 by 40 inch so I guess I could calculate the volume and figure out how many gallon air compressor tank that'll be but I think I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like sand in it or something it's heavy as can be so um, I'm gonna release these collars and uh, try and figure out what's in there so I was able to pop all that junk off the top and now I just have the tank and if you take a uh, screwdriver there we go and work it in there um, slip this up there goes an o-ring and uh, yeah it looks like there's some pretty nasty stuff in there some sort of sand I don't know looks to be partially frozen but I'm gonna get that all out of the tank and then we'll have our tank and problems gonna be figuring out uh, how to pressurize this tank cuz uh, yeah it's gonna be hard to hook something up to the top of that we'll see what I can do So at this point I, I pulled all the electronics off and I'm playing around with these valves. I have a uh, bypass valve in the back. So um, with the bypass valve closed, what that'll do is that'll allow the tank to pressurize. So if I take my air compressor, there's a little fitting up here. I can pump that up, you can see there's a little bit of air coming out this port so if I cap that off I can pump up the tank so all I need is, is a way to get air to come out so I'm thinking I'm gonna investigate this head up here and I'm gonna see if there's a way I can drill in and tap a fitting right into there um, then I can just keep it on bypass if, 
uh, if I can't drill in there I can always hook up to these fittings but these are pretty big and I don't have anything I'd have to go down to the store and buy something to fit on there so I'm gonna pop this off and investigate so if we take a look at this here's the top part and you can see that this 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 is about a half inch or five eighths of an inch the difference between here and here so that means that it's the bottom of this is going to seat about right where this gasket is so looking in here there there may just be enough room to put a fitting in there but the problem is I don't know if this area in here is going to be pressurized I think it would but I'm, I'm not positive because it might be cut off because of the gasket So at this point, I've actually uh, pulled this valve out of the inside. I realized I don't need it, and this will seal fine with the outside O-ring. So that seals that up. I have an inlet hole here that I can use to introduce the air to the tank, and I can use this top hole. I'm just going to have to tap it and thread it, and this can be where my air comes out. Um, I did all this and I found I have a uh, leak right here at this little thing so what was happening is when I was pressurizing air was coming out here so I plugged this end and I still had air leaking out a little bit so what I've done is I've put some pipe dope in these inlets packed them tight and that seems to have uh, stopped the air from leaking out. So this actually gets clipped on here like so. And there's a cap for it. So that's actually just going to stay on there. And now when I pressurize this thing up, We'll add some air. I'm going to cover up this top hole. The tank's becoming pressurized. Right now it's pressurized. There's no leaks. And there's the air coming out. So, looks like we, we have a tank that'll work. Unfortunately, i got to keep this bypass valve on in order uh, for it to work if I take this part off the, all the air will leak out so I guess I'll just leave it on so at this point I've pulled this back off the tank I'm gonna drill this thing out with a 7 16 drill and then I'm gonna tap it with a quarter 18 NPT Red, and that should fit a uh, air compressor fitting. Um, it was the hole was already seven sixteenths, so we'll just take our tap and run it through here. It's only thin plastic here. It's not going to take too much to get through it. So at this point I tapped it, I put a nipple on. The plastic really wasn't that thick, it was only about an eighth of an inch where I tapped it. So what I did is I, I put a fitting on the inside and that's kind of working as a nut because I don't have a nut that's the right thread. So that should hold it in place and keep it you know, if, from blowing out of there, breaking through. Now I'm just going to screw a regulator onto that nipple and then we'll lock that down so at this point I have the regulator up there and I have a test hose hooked up so I'm going to temporarily just connect it to my air compressor and see if the tank has any leaks 
and also uh, I don't know just pressurize it we'll see what's going on See our needles moving nicely. This will be 80 psi. So I'm just going to unhook my air pressure. And I need to look for leaks. This little green hose I'm using is not an air compressor hose, so that's leaking slightly. But uh, from what I can see here, this, this tank looks like it's holding pretty good. I'm going to spray some bubbles on it and just double check it. So I've put it all together. Basically, uh, I just kind of have it roughed up for the uh, testing at the bench. Um, <clears throat> right now I have it pumping, it's about 50 PSI. And I set up the pressure switch. This is my regulator. This should be a gauge that shows the pressure in the tank, but I didn't have a gauge yet, so I'm just using this fitting as a plug. You can see how uh, I used copper line and ran it up to the pressure switch that worked well. I soldered that there. Um, I also soldered this fitting here onto the air compressor. This green hose is temporary. Um, it, it's actually going to be an airline, but I'm just trying to bench test this thing, so this is actually temporary here. And um, as far as draining the tank, I'm thinking I'm going to lay this thing horizontally in the attic in my shed. And uh, this bypass valve, if I open that up, that should drain any water out. So I'm thinking I'm going to tilt it once I get it uh, mounted in the attic. So right now it's taking a while to pump I'm at about 62 and this pumps been running probably about four minutes here I don't know if this green hose is gonna handle the pressure so anyhow I've tried to uh, adjust that safety or pressure switch so that it kicks off I want it to kick off maybe around 80 but uh, it's kind of trial and error until I get it there so I loosened up the screw to try and get it to kick off so next time you see this thing I'll show you the install out in the shed after I have it in there probably and uh, I'm double wide six and hopefully you enjoyed this video it's a fun little project for today it took a little longer than I wanted it to but uh, Seems like it's working, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting it set up out in my shed so I can add uh, air to the tractor tires and blow off engines and things like that uh, when I'm done mowing. So thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm putting up videos every week. Thank you.